and to me. Yeah, you too. Um, we today are going to be making a, um, a, well, a basketball hoop that returns the ball even. And it's quite a good one. It's quite cool. So, yeah, follow these steps and let's get to it. So, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to recycle a couple of books. Second, you need to fold one of the flaps, and as you can see there, I'm doing that. You're going to cut that out, and you're going to draw a top there. And then, let's do that next. And then we're going to do this. So you've got that part cut out, right? Okay, so yeah, all right, cut out that. Next, what you're going to want to do is put out one of the flaps and cut it at an angle, like so. Do that to the same on the other side. So now, Okay. Next, what you're gonna want to do, yeah, is um. So remember the shape we cut out earlier. Um, this is all gonna be paper mache, so yeah. Uh, don't worry, it's not gonna look that ugly. You're gonna want to fold that flat. That one like that. And then. What you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to silicate that there to that with your tongue to there and that to there and when that's fully silicated, go on the now you should have something like that as you can see I taped it there. There might be little holes at the back there, as you can see. But that doesn't really matter, so yes. Okay. Do -do -do. Oh, wait. Paper mache will protect the box from all the knocks from the ball. So, our basketball buddy is really taking shape. And now that the paper mache has dried, it looks really strong. Great. Now let's see if it can take some knocks. Perfect. But before we start playing, let's get your paints ready. Design your basketball buddy. Give him or her some big eyes. And then some shiny pupils. Then in the middle, a nose, perhaps heart-shaped like this. And don't forget to give him some ears. Do one side. And then turn the box to do another ear on the other side. Get a nice thick brush and paint the inside of the box all black. Then choose a colour for the outside. It can be any colour you want. Paint all around the shapes you've drawn in pen and cover the sides. Then you can use a different colour for the rest of the ears. How about a pen of blue, like this? And maybe the same colour for the face. His tongue could be a nice bright red. And so could his heart-shaped nose. Then finish off the eyes, the pupils, some more light blue, and a bit of bright yellow. You can have fun designing yours. And there it is. When the paint is dry, you can outline...